Hi chess friends, do you want to know what happened in the final match of Norway Chess 2023? Follow me on the video. In this final match that will decide the winner of the tournament, we have Ikaro Nakamura with white pieces and Fabiano Caruana with black pieces. Now we can begin. Ikaru opens with e4. Caruana plays e5. Knight f3 to attack the e pole. Knight c6 to defend the e pole. Bishop c4. White here is attacking the f7 pawn and prepare a castle to castle. Knight uh, f6 and knight uh, g5. A lot of pressure of 7 pawn and the only way to continue for black is here is to play d5. We have e capture for d5 and now the best move here is not to capture this, this pawn in this way but before play knight a5 and attack this slight square bishop. Bishop b5 check. King has to be protected so uh, c6. E, d capture for c6, b capture for c6 and now this bishop is attacked so has to come back. We have bishop uh, d3. Another possibility for white here is to play queen f3, uh, like computer suggests, and here black can capture. Or because the queen can capture the rook, uh, is not a, a losing position for black, because it is, um, here white can castle and uh, black can also castle. And uh, for computer, it is a draw position, okay? But maybe feel better for white okay however this was only a, an angel line a possibility as the, the best continuation here was uh, after queen f3 was to play bishop e7 to prepare a castle here bishop has to come back if you try to take this uh, the knight can capture and uh, you, you don't gain nothing you play bishop here and you block the check and uh, the queen now can defend the rook and queen capture for a a8, A8 is not possible, okay? So you come back to put pressure on a seven pawn, but then a castle and completely draw position. Only another possibility to, co to continue this game. However, we have D capture for C6, B capture for C6, and now Bishop uh, D3. Come back. We have uh, Knight uh, D5 and uh, Knight F3. Black plays uh, bishop d6 to prepare a castle and to defend this pawn. If you are thinking something like uh, e4 is not a good move. Because uh, here white can simply take this pawn. And after the idea to pin this uh, this bishop, this light square bishop, here white can simply castle. Okay? And this bishop can be taken. Because if you, if you see what happens here, there is a rook e1. And now the queen is lost. Can you see the the move recommended by the engine? Now, how can you save the queen? You can't. You have to capture. And this is capture. And this is winning for white. So this move is not possible. Okay, the, the e4 move. So we have um, bishop uh, d6. And now castle by white. And the knight uh, f4. This knight here is defended by the pawn. And they put a lot of pressure on on the g2 square on the e2 square and attacks this light square bishop knight uh, c3 by karu and now we have a capture knight capture for d3 c ca capture for d3 this pawn structure is uh, is strange maybe it could be a weakness but the position is a is a is a draw we have a castle by fabiano and uh, now b3 with an idea maybe to prepare this task square bishop on the b2 square because this, this the d file is closed and you have to push before the the d3 pawn and then the d2 pawn to open up this bishop so the best way is to play to develop this bishop is to play b3 and then play like b2 bishop b2 we have a rook uh, e 
8 and now rook e1 to counter attack on this open file this pawn here is so strong because control the e4 square and prevent this push we have uh, uh, c5 and bishop uh, a a3 by by karu this pawn now closes this diagonal and uh, there is a possibility to place this bishop here we have knight uh, c6 and uh, knight uh, e4 this knight here is so strong look at this pressure a double pressure for this pawn the rook can come can join to the attack and uh, this knight also is attacking uh, this dash square bishop we have bishop uh, e8 e by caruana and now we have uh, rook uh, c1 you have not to rush to take this pawn you can simply bring another piece for the attack and take only take them you can also if you try something like this, uh, you have to be careful because this pawn is uh, so aggressive. And now, if you you have to trade, uh, you can move the knight. The knight is defending the bishop. You have to trade. But after this capture, look at this. This knight is attacked by the pawn, and this bishop is attacked. So you can defend both pieces. You have to sacrifice. And here, white uh, is. Uh, Okay, seems scary, but if black defends well, here is black is safe and is but is a, a in a better position. So this line uh, is not possible. This capture and if you try with the knight, uh, is not a good move because uh, there are a lot of possibility like queen uh, here, and now this knight is attacked. You have to defend with the rook. It, it is a possible move. It's still a draw position. Or if you try this. To attack uh, both pieces you defend with the queen you defend the bishop and the knight okay a draw a draw position however this move here for the engine bishop g4 is the best move and uh, white here is uh, is not uh, in uh, in a good position if you wait for the uh, valuation of computer you will uh, find uh, a winning line for uh, for black okay the rook has to come here now the bishop is captured and uh, the knight jo joined to the attack and how can you what can you do with this knight okay it's a really long line that for computer is 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 winning okay we have a change and uh, it's better for black okay we have uh now after this uh, we have no capture of the spawn the best move by Karo rook c1 and now for black we have f4 5 and f5 is a mistake the best move recommended by the engine is to try to to play this uh, knight here and if black try to capture the spawn uh, there is this combination okay can you see and we have uh, this big changement of pieces the rook has to be safe so you have to to capture and uh, the game continue can you see in this way and it, it's uh, we have a changement a lot of pieces but white he here is bad is in a, in a bad position So after this capture, this knight has to be recaptured, and uh, then we're knight c5, and it's a draw. The queen now can centralize, but bishop can continue to to be developed. We have, we have a trade, and uh, the computer suggests a draw. Okay, this rook can develop, attack the queen, and then this knight can be moved. However, here Caruana played the bad move and the f4, f5 is a mistake. The knight now cap, capture and we have queen d5, good move, but it's too late. Queen c2 to defend the knight better and now rook uh, d, d8 to bring a pressure on this pawn. We have queen uh, c4 and now we have a trade of queen. If you want to try to capture this, to then to recapture this pawn, to to remove the defender of the the, the d3 pawn you, you, if you want to try to do this 
for computer is not a good because you can capture capture and now you, you you simply takes a bishop so you lose another piece and you lose the game so we have a trade we capture with the rook and now you can capture with the pawn if you capture with the pawn there is uh, this bad bad position for white after e4 this knight can defend this pawn the knight has to be moved and now where you put this knight is so passive okay you have to trade and uh, after this look at this bishop now it's winning position for uh, there is this capture capture and uh, winning position for for black because this knight is pinned can you see this knight can be moved because this bishop is attacking this okay so we have uh, rook capture for c4 and now uh, rook uh, d5 to defend better this uh, pawn two times okay we have rook c1 and bishop uh, d6 bishop uh, b2 the two player are 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 playing to put pressure on the e5 pawn with the knight with the queen with the bishop and the black is defending with the rook and with the knight with the bishop we have uh, knight uh, e7 and now rook uh, c2 rook uh, b8 and uh, d4 now we have a trade if you try to push your pawn here could be an idea but look this knight now can jump here and this is a problem this bishop is defending really well on this diagonal and uh, the best way to continue is to capture 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 and now the knight uh, we have uh, a5 and the knight come back we have uh, h3 some move to continue the game can you see the bishop now is controlling the diagonal we have knight come back to, to, to attack the rook and uh, the rook is moved bishop a3 looks this movement of bishop bishop a3 bishop b2 bishop a3 continue to put pressure and now the rook is a is a another time attack the rook has to be moved and now we have a trade trade and knight a4 to jump on uh, c5 and uh, the position here is winning for white look at this pawn structure this pair of pawn this rook on a c file and this pair of knight is simply better we have a knight uh, d5 and now rook uh, c5 to c rook c6 rook capture rook capture and now this bishop is attacked knight uh, b4 to attack this pawn but also to defend the knight and maybe to jump in the future here but we have rook d6 and now bishop uh, b7 we have knight uh, c3 to activate this knight better if you try something like this is not useful because this bishop can simply capture okay and then it's a draw position but it's better to play this knight here however we have by karu uh, knight uh, c3 and now rook uh, e, e8 okay we have uh, a h4 a, a f4 and rook uh, d4 to attack this uh, pawn and the pawn has to be defended so rook f8 we have knight e5 some move to continue to attack the knight and then the knight come back we have a uh, f3 to create a weakness on the king side but we have a capture capture with the bishop and now the idea is to bring maybe the rook into the game with uh, like rook uh, e1 check and maybe this uh, check okay but king now is move king h2 and king here here is completely safe we have a knight uh, c2 and the rook here now is defended because this knight was attacking the rook and now rook is safe and is a attacking the, for, for the bishop bishop come back and king g3 now the king is safe and we have some move and the knight now come back but look at this pawn how can you block all this pawn white here is has uh, five pawns and black only two only three okay the rook d6 we have some move and the knight is centralized but after few moves this knight now is attacking the bishop we have bishop b7 rook e6 and now rook uh, f7 some move f4 bishop a8 and now h5 and last move of the game 
after this move here this king here is so strong can you see the development and the aggressive position of white Hikaru Nakamura won the game because the position is completely lost for for black the computer here gives a plus 10 <laughs> more of 10 for for black that has no activity of these pieces everything is passive and look this development so strong of this knight and this pawn will be a queen uh, really soon uh, you, you white here continue to push his pawn this pawn can be pushed and the king is so strong and uh, the pressure is too much okay because uh, white here change everything and uh, will promote uh, one of this pawn to a queen and here white black has no move has really no move so if you try this like computer suggests you simply push and you create a press pawn and now looks this check and what can you do here your king has to be moved but knight continue to move to come back and now we have a trade uh, black takes a pawn but the bishop is recaptured so thank you really much for watching my video and uh, really congratulations for Ikaru because uh, he he's come back uh, and now he, he's doing a lot of streaming but uh, his level is super high so thank you really much remember to subscribe to my channel and see you soon with another video really soon bye bye thank you really much